Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni, and today we're going to talk about constructive rest. So this is a way to create um, sort of your neutral gears to try to really realign the body, tune the body. And it of course looks like you're not doing anything, but it's all about what you're processing as you're doing this constructive rest. And this can really, really help to um, create better alignment and uh, also ultimately better movement in the body. So we're gonna go through this just a little bit. Um, it's really good to have a comfortable mat, any kind of props you need. Some people might want a pillow, a blanket over them. Usually what is best is to have something under the knees like a bolster. So you'll have your client I forgot my microphones on the back there. You'll have your client lie on the back. And you want the room to be warm. You want to cue them to close the eyes. And again, you want to have some support for their um, legs and their feet. Now, it doesn't matter how the legs are arranged. They can decide to bring the knees together or they can let the legs just rest on the bolster. And here, as you're closing the eyes, you want to guide the client into feeling the floor underneath them. You want to guide the client into feeling how their breath is opening the back of their body, and then on every exhale, how they can create a heaviness through the inside of their body, right? So on every exhale, you want the brain to fall into the back of the skull, and then you could travel down and ask them to soften the throat, travel down a bit more, ask them to let go of the shoulder blades and the heavy rib cage, feeling the heaviness of the lungs and the heart, all the intestines, the pelvic organs, so that the back of the body starts to really spread wide open, like a big hammock. And as they're resting here, after they scan their whole body, right? They go from the pelvis, the legs, the feet, everything heavy and wide. Then they really start to pay attention to the breath, reinforcing that heaviness, thinking about softening through the face, the lips, the jaw, just releasing tension throughout their body. And this sequence, ideally, could last five or 10 minutes. And you can change up, of course, the way that you're guiding this visualization. And then it will teach the client that they might have an aha moment about how to really deeply relax. And that really is the hardest exercise for anyone to do, is just to let go and really allow the environment to support you. And so, Doing this, the beginning of class or the end of class or somewhere in between, giving your clients a sense of this constructive rest could be really helpful for them to take home and to, to practice this every day. Because this is something, again, that helps to create a tuning in the body. It helps to relax the nervous system. And frankly, just one of the best things that you can do on a daily basis. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.